from Real Street Performance. Today we're going to talk about shifting your manual transmission faster. If you're a stick shift guy, you understand the harmony that must happen between when you move your foot, when you move your hand, when your drive line uncouples with the clutch, and when it goes into the next gear. If the timing of this is not done well, you can break apart, you can miss a gear, you can lock yourself out of the next gear, or you can lose ET because the turbocharger has to come back on the boost because you've shifted slowly. So when you're racing your manual transmission car, you push the clutch in to unload the transmission so it can go into the next gear. When you let the clutch out, the transmission goes back under the load and stays in that gear. The gear change gets a whole lot easier if you can slow down the momentum that the engine is accelerating at. One of the ways we accomplish this is using the clutch switch. When the clutch is depressed, the switch activates a ignition retard or ignition cut which will slow the momentum that the engine is accelerating at. This takes some of the workload off the synchronizer and allows it to line up faster, giving you a quicker, more consistent shift. Some cars, it's as simple as using the cruise control disable switch, which is located at the top of the clutch's travel. Other cars, you'll have to install a switch that is actuated throughout the pedal's travel. Or if you have a hydraulic clutch, you can install a pressure sensor and have the hydraulic pressure create voltage through the sensor that will actuate the gear cut. If you're not using a synchronized transmission, for example, you're using a dog box, there's a whole lot less engagement teeth to be involved. So the process of shifting gears happens a lot faster. For example, the synchronized box has about 30 teeth. The dog box has five teeth. So these five teeth can come uncoupled and coupled to the next gear very quickly. The downside is, is when you drive around on the street, there is no synchronizer and it sounds like you're grinding gears all the time. But if it's just a racetrack vehicle, very, very fast shifts, very few chance of miss shifts in a consistent fast drag car. Since the dog gear can take more abuse, we can use a more aggressive approach to unload the transmission to get the gear changed down faster. Instead of using a clutch switch like we did on the synchronized transmission, we can just put a sensor on the shift handle itself, completely eliminating the driver's need to push the clutch on the upshifts. Putting a strain gauge on the shifter allows the ECU to know when the driver is moving the shifter for the next gear change. So the driver pulls or pushes on the shift lever and voltage goes back to the ECU. The harder you pull on the lever or push on the strain gauge, the more voltage it makes. So then you can begin to set up a timing for when you have the most amount of ignition cut or the most amount of ignition retard in relation to the gear change itself. It's a very neat working system. A lot of the cars we set up for drag racing only, we just use the clutch to get the car off the starting line. From there on, the shifts are made with just the strain gauge and the driver does not have to push the clutch again until he's done with that pass. What's equally important as the quick shift is being able to carry the power into the next gear. If you're using a turbocharged car, Having a timing retard on the gear change will keep the turbocharger online to where if you leave one gear with 20 pounds of boost, you go into the next gear with 20 pounds of boost instead of having a lag or delay with the turbocharger having to come back up to target boost. These are two of the approaches that we use to have a faster, more competitive race car or street car. If this is something that you have questions on, you can contact us and we'll do our best to help you out. Thanks and I'll see you next week.